Hey, oh, here we go. First person in the stream already. Hell yeah, that's how I like it. Give some more time for more, more folks to hop in here. As we stand behind Circa. Actually, I guess, oh well, yeah. I was gonna say, I guess it's gonna be the front where people drive in, so. There we go, what's up, Thomas? First one, no breakfast. King Pug, Shay, Funk, Martin. Haha, <laughs> what's up, Ace? There we go. Olivia will put up YouTube and boom, you're here. Jeffrey Allen, what's going on, man? Alex from Chi Town. Nikia, what's up, Nikia? How's life treating you? Look at this, guys. South Carolina checking in. What's up? 100 people, just like that. Tuolumne, California. So, look at Garage Mahal. What's up, George? More Chicago. San Mateo. Kathleen, I am good. How are you doing? Glad you're doing good, Nakia. Jeanette. Out in Texas. Hello from San Isidro, Costa Rica, Centro Americano. Muy bien, señor. Eh, possibly being demolished. We'll see. We'll see. There's never a shortage of rumors in, in Vegas, right? Uh, we're on the backside of Circa, man. We'll see how many people are over on Free Mall as we walk over there. But look at this, guys. Look how it's coming along so far. You left you left Patrice O'Neill for me? Hell, thank you. That's quite a compliment. If you left watching him or Bill Burr or Dave Chappelle or Louis C.K. Any any of the popular comedians, man. That's quite the compliment. Thank you. Still in San Francisco, Gladys, I'm sorry. Tell me if it's if it's too windy. Because I got my microphone. Although it might be easier when we get underneath the canopy. We'll see. Look, guys, see how they're putting these dividers here in the road, which we've never had before. Over here uh, on Ogden. I see those around town more often, too. Areas I've never had them, like in residential spots. So it's a sign, it's a sign of a growing area, a growing city, which I don't know. I like sometimes those, it makes it easier to drive or make left turns turning out of certain places but uh, when you know the traffic amount gets to a certain point those go in what's up from omaha think it'll be good for christmas Pfft, man no one knows <laughs> that's anyone's best guess so much can hate here so much can happen between now and then Debra, you hate all the dividers do any of you work in, uh, anybody on the stream here work in like city planning or urban development or anything like that? Any of you work on like, or you, heck, maybe even construction? And you guys project managers, construction, you know, what are your thoughts on these dividers that you see going up? When you see these kind of dividers in roads or in neighborhoods, like how necessary do you think they are? Not that way. I pressed the button, didn't I? Oh, well, there it is. Cinnamon Girl, what's up? Lonesome Lenny, $10 tips is welcome back. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, Lenny. You are the first one. Ron, hi from New Jersey. I just popped my head in there a couple weeks ago. So yeah, guys, any, uh, if you want to tip on the super chat, that's cool. Also in the description, there's the um, links for PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. So pick your poison, right? King Pug, California. What part of California are you in? Unless you're just saying that I was out in front of the California hotel. 
You think Governor will extend capacity next week? Yeah. You know, at this point... Alright. I got the green. Vamanos. Caminando. Edward from outside Chi-Town. Say so you uh, like in Schaumburg or something like that. King of Burbank out right here in SoCal. Saturday's been cool so far. I actually thought it was Friday. When I was titling the stream, I was about to put Friday night, and I was like, wait a second. It's not Friday. Mike and Scottsdale. Or is it Snotsdale or Snobsdale or we call it down there? It's like the nice area. Look at this garage getting put together here. Any Ethiopian restaurant recommendations? Mm, not off the top of my head, but geez, we have to have at least half a dozen here. Because we do have a large Ethiopian population in Vegas. Mostly in uh, Spring Valley, like in the southwest area. Screenplay. No, I did it, man. I did not hear what uh, happened to Pompsy. Is Pompsy okay? Good day from Sydney, Australia. Sydney, been there before. United we party. Best menudo downtown, huh? Ah, soon enough, you guys will be able to come down here and park. Haha, <laughs> Ace, the food. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, Vegas is uh, probably a more diverse place in more ways than one than more people realize. And is that enough mores in one sentence? They, f they thought he was filming adult films in the zoo. What the hell? Wow. That's pretty wild. Lance Stubb! Hey Jacob, glad you're back streaming. Vancouver, Washington, right outside of rioters, protesters in Portland. Hey, well hey, stay safe in Washington, man. I know you are near Portland. You, know, you can uh, live in Washington so you don't pay that state income tax and go shop in Oregon so you don't pay sales tax. I know, was it one or two years ago, Washington passed, or the voters in Washington voted 59% for this large uh, bill that restricted people's uh, more put more gun restrictions on their Second Amendment rights. So, I mean, you still can conceal there. You can still have your firearms and all that kind of stuff, of You're course. But right? I've seen your videos. How you doing? Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Didn't even hesitate. About that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people look at me like, dude, there's a guy that looks just like you and no, makes no, videos. No, it's you. I just saw a couple of your videos recently, too. Oh, thanks, man. You want to I'm live streaming right now. A few hundred oh, people. Okay. Do you want to say hi? Sure. Sure? Here. What's your name, bro? Andy. Andy, where are you visiting from? Orange County. Oh, you're just down the road, man. Yeah, there's actually a lot of people here in town. I mean, things like, it looks like things are picking back up. Yeah, we're slowly but surely, as long as there's no major hiccups or anything like that coming up soon. So, yeah. you know, hopefully, man. So that's, that's what we're all hoping for See, the that's best. We're here to help support all the local businesses. So. Hey. Thanks, man. Yeah. Whoops, excuse me. Not even busy. We'll see how busy it is once we get on Fremont, guys. We'll take a look over there, okay? Heather's is nice to see you back. Thank you, Heather. I did the opposite of you. Came from Maryland to Nevada. I was in Nevada to Maryland for a little while. <laughs> Ray talking about that crypto, huh?
Yeah, it's like the food truck is getting set up in there. Look at that. Bill Coleman, Culver City down in SoCal. Ooh, license went down. Setting the mood for us. You guys all saying hi to Andy. All right, I gotta catch up on comments. Here we go. Ray Santos Crypto. I don't know why I said crypto like that, but whatever. It says your hashtag Rufus and legit. Keep up the good work. Bitcoin, I mean. <laughs> Jacob, thanks, Ray. I appreciate it, man. Hey, Bitcoin, Litecoin, whatever cryptocurrency you're working. It's working for you, man. Thanksgiving normally is not busy, so this year, I don't know. Kind of hard to know what to expect anymore in 2020, right? You can say hi. <laughs> I was trying to get the people on the zip line, but oh well. Randy from Indiana, what's up, man? Indiana. Is there anything cool to do in Indiana? Should I go visit Indianapolis? Maybe I'll go to a Notre Dame game one one day. That'll be cool. Watch the Fighting Irish play a play. I want to see. I would want to see Notre Dame play a good team in their state. I'd want to see a big game there. Not USC because I've seen USC play before in USC. Indy five hundred. Ty from Dallas. Fremont Street, always great. We'll see how great it is tonight. Notre Dame was supposed to play Wisconsin and Lambeau. Shoot, that would have been cool. I remember, uh, oh, was it four or five years ago, maybe more, that Wisconsin played LSU at Lambeau Stadium. That was pretty cool. Wisconsin pulled off the win. Cinema, yeah, kind of getting back to normal. We do need more stuff to open up. But guys, a lot of the stuff in Vegas really depends on what happens around other places. So, I mean, you know, stuff's getting kind of back to normal. That's cool. But, uh, you know, we need, we need the violence to, to come way down. So there are three more people. I've uh, saw were shot just last night or maybe technically this morning over a uh, uh, stage door. I know a lot of you don't want to hear that because I know a lot of you like stage door. Here's our, here's our, here's our fuck Trump guys. You little babysit your wife, go gamble. Maybe I'd make a little money with a sign like that. What do you guys think? Let's see how it goes. Laura! Saludos de Sonora, Mexico! In el norte, right up against Arizona. Shootings on this trip? Numerous since we've reopened. Hawaiians at? There's only about a hundred thousand transplants from Hawaii living in Vegas. We have the fuck Trump signs and we got the vote for Trump. Let's step over here for a minute. Open in the house. Ray 
It's not the ghetto part though. So you're in North Oakland. Did you go out today for a nice walk, a nice jog over by Lake Merritt? Foster City. How's that for a pan? So, Portuguese in Rhode Island a lot, so I hear. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut. When I talked to my family back in Portugal, you said there is some family in that area. But I grew up, I grew up way far away from there. Be, Mark says, be careful, thanks man. Vegas Evans says, find some cute girls in mini skirts, please. All right. See what we can do. Vegas he's Jacob lay the law. I think for right now, Jacob's just gonna walk around, try to get some interesting footage for you guys. We'll see what Fremont presents tonight. Usually Fremont presents all the interesting footage I need, right? That's the advantage of being in Vegas. <laughs> All you gotta do is walk around and usually eventually at some point something will happen. Too tall to be Portuguese. You know what's funny? It's my mom's side of the family, the side that is Portuguese where that Latin DNA comes from. Um, a lot of them are taller. <laughs> a lot of them are. Some of them are short, but I don't know what the hell happened. Some of them came out kind of tall, which doesn't usually happen to Portuguese people or Spanish people, or you know, usually, usually if your uh, if your bloodline takes you back to ancient Hispania, then usually people are little. But not always. Is that, is that Reynaldo like six foot two? He's not a little dude. Trisha! What's up, Trisha? Ah, here's something I just remembered I was going to ask. Adesanya or Costa? Who you got? Should I go with the guy with the Portuguese last name? Nah, I'm not going to show that kind of favoritism. Um... This guy's on the stream. Trisha, would you mind? I know you, you do it every so often anyway, like every 10 minutes or so, post the Patreon link. We had a good time last night on Patreon on the live stream. And then tonight I'll elect Olivia, if you don't mind, if every every like 10 minutes also, you could post the uh, my Instagram and my Twitter in the, uh, in the chat, please. I know some of you follow me over there on Instagram and Twitter, but a lot, a lot more don't. Vicky from Charlotte, North Carolina. Dude, I, when I was in uh, Maryland, I was thinking about driving down to North Carolina. I was like, huh, where else could I drive this? You know, not too far for like a day trip. And I was like, ah, North Carolina's too far. I thought about West Virginia. West Virginia was only, what, an hour and a half or something? Maybe a little less. Oh, there we go. 
Vegas 7, 299 tip. Is it true that Portuguese immigrated to Okinawa? Uh, I'm not as familiar with Okinawa. I know uh, Macau. You'll find Portuguese people in Macau. Okinawa, I could see maybe there being a small contingent, but I've not heard Okinawa a whole lot, actually. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Olivia. Donde esta Martin D? Donde esta onde esta? Damn, we got big old Packers here there. Portuguese egg custard? Nah, I'm more of a linguista guy. <laughs> I, ate, I ate more than my fair share of linguista growing up as a kid. <laughs> or in Hawaii, they call it Portuguese sausage. It's really linguista, but whatever. I'm not... They want to call it something else in Hawaii, so be it. <laughs> you pretty much guarantee that on Fremont. People are going to keep crossing even after the light says to stop. Hola, Jacob. ¿Cómo estáis, amigos? <laughs> you said estáis like they do in Spain. Man, I don't hear that used very often. Todo bien, señor. Todo bien. Estoy contento. Got a fair amount done today. Not as much as I had initially laid out, but it was still productive, I'll say. Portuguese chicken dig in Toronto. Yeah, I know Toronto has a sizable Portuguese community. I don't know why they would choose to go somewhere so cold, but hey, whatever. Heart attack grill's open. Alegro. <laughs> Thanks, man. Portuguese sauce in Hawaii, hell yeah. Yeah, they get a little hectic tonight. Well, I'm glad they love the Portuguese sausage in Hawaii because when the Portuguese first got to Hawaii, they were not the most well loved. So I'm glad they like the sausage at least. Mark. Am I gonna make Admiral? Uh, uh, give me like, give me a good 20 years. I don't even know how long it would actually take to make Admiral. There you go. It's just kind of normal. some money 50 miles south of Boston 50 miles south of Boston so you are so help me help me out I'm trying these in my head that little pocket of the East Coast I'm not used to like so many states being so close together well so you got to be it's below Massachusetts just Rhode Island and Connecticut Playboy bunnies? You don't see three very often. Usually it's one or two. Welcome to Lost Walmart. <laughs> 20 minutes from Providence, Rhode Island. Okay, cool. 
And there's actually a, uh, there's a base in Rhode Island, uh, Newport, Rhode Island, that I saw an opening for my training this year. I think there was a chance to go there. I think there was a chance to go to, I think it's Newt. Thanks, bro. Yeah, the bartenders see me, security staff has seen me. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hey, what's your name, bro? Really? Thanks, man. Where'd you move from? Yeah, I moved from uh, Oh, damn. You made a long trip. <laughs> you wanna say? Oh, I was just there like two weeks ago, actually. Really? I was in Maryland for a couple, for a couple weeks. No, I'm from California, man. I was there doing some military training. So I, I was in Maryland, so I went into. I took one day, dude. We went through Baltimore. We went through. Uh, where else? Like, I went to Philadelphia one day. Went through Delaware. Delaware is kind of boring, but you know, we were all around that area. Went to Virginia a couple times. To DC. It was fun, man. So I was doing military training. I just got back recently. So. Yeah, man. How long have you been here? I've actually been here about six months. Now. Okay, so far so good, despite all the COVID crap. So, so far now, it's getting better. Man. Nice, bro. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hey, man, what's up? Love you, too. <laughs> Shout out to Alessandra when you get her. Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, the bars are open, guys. They are. If anybody didn't know, come, order your drink and you can consume your alcohol, just like before. Michael, sorry, Delaware. Yeah, we went to Dover, Delaware, and Wilmington, Delaware. And, uh, you know, now I can say I've been to Delaware. <laughs> I can say that. Ate in a restaurant in Dover that was kind of cool. It was this house that had been turned into a restaurant and bar. It was unique. Peggy, what's up? Holy! Holy Transformer! It's funny, you guys ever see the guy when the person like does their, finishes their routine, they get out of their costume? And you see, he gets off his his uh, shoes and blocks and the guy's like five foot four when he steps out of his costume. Come to Foxwoods in Connecticut. Alright, I may have to make a trip down there. <laughs> if I was in those costumes with those with those boots, I'd be like shit. I'd be like as tall as me and Bull. <laughs> Thanks man. Three-star robot like that in Japan. Shoot. Bumblebee throwing gang signs. <laughs> hey, Transformers are their own gang. Uh, yeah, Downtown Grand is open. They've been open, actually. Wait. Have they? Yeah. I think I think uh, Main Street's the only one that's still closed. Downtown. Yeah, downtown Grand is open. I'm about to die right there, man. All right. I'm stepping out of this area. Damn, we got bright. Nah, no live music yet. How's the weather? I'm gonna guess it's in the high 80s. Oh, look, guys, entertainers are rotating. Let's see, if you guys, which one would you rather see when you come here, the two ladies or this guy? <laughs> Pick your favorite. <laughs> Oh, 
not much for the guy. <laughs> What's up, Amaro? Rick Hopper, 777, just got back home yesterday, had a great week in Vegas. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it, Rick. You guys want to tip, uh, like I said, through YouTube, the Super Chat, that's cool. If you guys also want to do it through PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo, in the description, that's cool. They take less than YouTube does. Oh, they just put Vegas, not big ass girls on the strip. Almost! Nope, everybody on camera's gonna get it. Bye, you just got like 834 people then. <laughs> oh, that circle game was cool when I was 12. You looked up. Yeah. <laughs> now you're welcome, Carlotta. <laughs> Carlotta, you made, did you make the move? You were getting ready to move here. Michael Glenn, 499. Thanks for the updates and for your service. Thank you, my man. I appreciate the 499. You know? Oftentimes I look at things and I try to take a longer term perspective, like, you know, 30 years, 30, 30 years from now, how big a deal is this going to be? 30 years from now, I look back and be glad I did it. Or, you know, if I'm th thinking about doing something, I'm not sure. I'm going to take a risk on something. I'll be like, all right, 30 years, if I look back, how will I probably feel about it? You know, I try to apply that sometimes. It, it can be helpful. But hey, you go through life, sometimes you make mistakes on things. But, look at the totality of your life. When you get older, you look back, that guy, who's good? When are the bands coming back? Not sure. Oh. <laughs> She's zip lining with no shoes on. The one right there. The second one, she's barefoot going down there. I've seen it before I did this one here. And actually, after I finished it, man, my back hurt like hell. My right uh, lat is bugging the crap out of me. Did the zip line twice. I think the zip line is one of the is one of the things that it's one of those things that like I did it. It was fun. You know, would I be like dying to do it if I came back to Vegas another trip? Probably not. I think it falls into that category of several things. Like you, like, all right, you come to Vegas, you do it once, you did it, but you know, you probably wouldn't do it again. Like heart attack girl, that's the thing I, I saw that numerous times in reviews. People are like, yeah, food was okay, but you know, I got the experience, but I probably wouldn't do it a second time kind of thing. You know, you guys get what I'm saying? Thank you, Alan. Amara, the day's been good so far. So far, so good. 
So get a stream in tonight. That guy's tall. The muy alto. There we go, the usual on Fremont. Dallas Cash. Your husband said he saw me on YouTube? Yeah, because he's watching the video. Oh, yeah? What's his name? Can you do that? Where's your husband at? Oh, uh, he's just some random guy. He's just some random guy? He said he saw you on YouTube. I said, yeah, right. Recognize you. Is your husband's name Andy by any chance? No. No? Okay, different guy that then so I do make YouTube videos, yes. You do? Yes. So that is me. About Vegas or Andy? I do. It's called my name's Jacob. The channel's called Jacob's Life in Vegas. Jacob Life. Yeah. Do you wanna say hi to everybody? There's people watching right now. No? You wanna be shy? Alright. Well tell your husband, that random guy, tell him I said hi, okay? Tell him I said thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a classic. <laughs> that's like an instant classic on the channel, isn't it? Yeah. Hi to whoever the random guy is whose wife came to just uh, see if that was me. <laughs> that's a first. That is a first. <laughs> oh man. That was great. <laughs> I know. Well, it's kind, of, it's, it's kind of ironic. We saw the sign at the beginning of this, the guy saying, um, go gamble. Like, what is it? I'll babysit your wife or something. Or, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll watch over your wife while you go gamble. And his, this guy's wife just comes and walks up to me, and he's, like, nowhere to be found. She comes up and starts talking to me and says, Oh, my husband sees you on YouTube. I go, where's your husband at? Oh, he's just some random guy. <laughs> well, neither her or the husband wanted to be on camera, so... Although I, I saw her walk back, I saw a guy with her that I'm going to... I'm going to take it that he is that random guy who is her husband. So... <laughs> do, you, do you take this random guy to be your lawfully wedded husband? You know, in Vegas, that probably is a little more common than uh, other places, right? <laughs> Especially when you have chapels all over the damn place. People do some spur-of-the-moment things, right? <laughs> uh. Paper City Gamer Jeff, 499 tips. Is happy Saturday. Thank you how far of agreement from the strip is it closed? Uh, not quite sure. What you're asking how? Maybe like how much of the strip is closed? I'm, I'm gonna guess like a typo or auto suggestion got in the way there. Um, what's well, still closed in the strip? Well, you know, even Shop is open now, so I think it's just Planet Hollywood was the only thing left. We're still not that busy though, that's for sure. Dina Dominguez, hello from Odessa, Texas. George Masuda, 499. Thank you, George. Thank you, Paper City Gamer Jeff. You guys are awesome. Wayne, your son doesn't believe this is live? Well, it's live, bro. I am I am human in the flesh, waving my hand in front of the camera there. Seeing what's going on around here. Maybe she forgot his name, sweet sign out. I hope not. 
Ready, Mexican restaurant. Doña Maria Tomales? Downtown. Strip clubs? No. Keep going. <laughs> Stupid iPhone. <laughs> Let's see, how many how many of you guys in this chat are team iPhone or team Android? You guys iPhone or Android? And and before you send that send that comment, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Yeah! <laughs> What's up, Tony? Android, iPhone all day. <clears throat> Android from Hawaii. Well, here. I'm in Hawaii too. I'm just on the ninth island, that's all. I'm an Android person, so you know when I was in college, they had uh, Apple computers we had to use, like in the you know the, the computer lab and all that kind of stuff. And I really did not like them. So, when it came to Apple, I wasn't too big into it. Flip phone. And you guys, who still has the, you guys still got the car phone? Never, when you open up the center console of your car, there's a phone in there, a corded phone. Woo, that tie. Open, rocking and rolling. Rotary phone. Okay. Yeah. Who's who's still using a uh, two styrofoam cups and a string? Who's using that? Anybody still using carrier pigeons? Oregon Trail. <laughs> I forgot about that game. Never made it to the end though. I remember the teacher because there's always what like slow, medium, and fast pace you can go in that game. And the teacher was always telling us, don't go on fast. You can play it on slow or medium. And then, um, you know, if you go on medium, though, you can never make it to the end in time of class. So, yeah. If you go, if you play fast, then you can make it to the end, which two guys in my class did. But, yeah, you can go on medium and, you know, before you even get, like, 100 miles into your trip, like, half, half the family's dead. You know, people are getting rickets and shit like that. You know, people just dying from the flu. Stuff that today we're like, what the hell is that? Smoke signals, yeah. You got trampled by a herd of wild buffalo. Car phone. by a rattler. Was that one of the things? Fell into a whole bunch of cacti. Oh, no marvelous. <clears throat> oh, some of you guys are still on the Samsung iPhone debate. Shaka Cycles 1, 499 says, be safe. Thank you, man. Thank you, Shaka. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm I'm checking my six every so often as I'm walking. You guys may, I mean, you can, you know, I mean, we're, for the most part, we're looking the same direction, but it's all right, man. But oh, there's, there's a few times just on this walk where I've walked into a certain spot or corner or through a little crowd or I'm like, all right, let me look over this way. Let me check here. Why is this person looking at me like that? That kind of stuff. Conceal carry. You know, maybe I should start like, as I live stream, just have, you know, gimbal in one hand and just pull like a cannon behind me in the other hand, just have it tied to a rope. That'll be good for, that'll be good for protection, right? Some, uh, 
Civil War era cannon. I don't know what concealed carry is, what are you guys talking about? Never heard of that. I'm gonna power walk on this one to make it across. Musket. <laughs> Here's the party. Here's your club scene in Vegas right now. Looks like they're filming a video. Hey man. Good. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been someone else that made the concealed carry permit video. Has the violence picked up? Well, it stayed steady. I missed a. Where's your bodyguard? I have to be my own bodyguard right now. And if anything happens, I have to give myself CPR too. Did I miss? I got Shaka. Oh, damn, you guys are right, I did miss, my bad. Greg Capella, $20 tip, walk on. Thank you, Greg, sorry about that, man. <laughs> sorry, Greg. Hopefully life's treating you well over there on the strip. Still rocking. I'm trying to read what your hat says. I think this is USS Indianapolis. That's cool, man. Thanks for the service. Thank you, thank you. Is that a praying mantis? Hell yeah, it is. Sweet sign. You haven't been down here before to a container park area? Gourmet kettle corn. Portuguese store. <laughs> What's funny is so much, so much attention, so many mentions of being Portuguese is kind of like, you know, the rest of my DNA test results don't get that much love. <laughs> I mean, the rest. <laughs> Thanks. You watch. You guys want to say hi? Say hi, to everybody. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for watching, man. Close to Zappos. I haven't mentioned like the likes one time, huh? Let's get to 400 likes, guys. How about that? Portuguese man. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm about half Portuguese. Uh, a little over 40% is like Scandinavian, German. English and the last 10% or so is uh, Middle East and North Africa or Middle East Africa. Excuse me. Oh, Father's out for a drink tonight. I think it's the first time I've ever seen a priest in Container Park or downtown Vegas or on the strip or anything like that. Guy just finished doing Saturday night church service. So I'll have to have a drink. Olivia, I don't know what I am, I'm just here. <laughs> Alright, what are like half the things they have displayed here? 50% Portuguese for Tristan and Tan. It's a lot of Latin, man. I like half the things they offer here. Don't they sound kind of inappropriate? Nut sacks, gourmet dry rubs, pickles. It's been depending on how much you've been drinking. 
how you take it. Damn it! Tucson, yep, yeah, down in Arizona, you're not too far away. Are the bars open? Si, sí, senor. Si, sí, se puede. Puedes pedir tu alcohol. Puedes tomar cerveza si quieres. Puedes tomar seis cervezas si quieres. I did not realize your name was Old Man Jeebus. <laughs> How did I not notice that right away? Uh, I don't think they've turned this praying mantis on in a while, actually. You're right, it is always bad at connection to Container Park, because I tried to reconnect and it said I lost connection. I was like, hell no. All right, why is this guy looking at me? Walk that way. Ghost in Container Park. Oh, same group. For the girl with the hot pants? Which one? The three Playboy bunnies, you mean? But that gets on YouTube. Damn it, you recognize me. <laughs> For a short walk, it feels like a lot of people have said hi tonight and recognized me. It feels like a lot since it's a short walk and not that busy. Shitty area, shitty six. So I need a team of like five other people with me so we can do tactical team movements who's my one who's my point man who's my six who's got my left who's got my right when you're set yell out set so we know to move yeah they're definitely doing a video <laughs> This is higher me. <laughs> Shit, better move. Better go. Set. Move. Team moving. Can you carry batons? Yep. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we. Trained with baton, trained with OC spray, trained with firearms. The only thing we didn't train with uh, was tasers, because um, I thought the Navy didn't use those. I was told the Navy doesn't use tasers and the Air Force doesn't use OC spray, but I think you should definitely carry OC spray. But I, I got told the Navy's gonna start using, start carrying uh, tasers also, so. More painful taser OC. Uh, I haven't been tased yet. I've been tear gassed at basic training and I got OC sprayed at A school. OC is definitely worse. Definitely. So, when you see videos, you see like crowd control videos, they're shooting tear gas in the crowd and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, I know what that feels like. They see someone get sprayed in the face with OC. Woo! Stuff is nasty. Although when you're in a like 
even just when you're training and doing scenarios. Oh! You got room to put in reverse. You got room. He's giving you space. <laughs> this guy got caught in the red light. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to speed through and the light turned red. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> street corner, this is Fremont Las Vegas Boulevard, two of the most famous streets in all of Nevada. They say tear gas is more like inhaling spicy campfire smoke. Pfft. I don't know, man. Once you get once you get tear gassed, your nose starts running like crazy, and you're coughing, and you're just, oh, you'll start your snot will be flowing, your spit will be coming out, and you're coughing, and it is you can't hardly even talk when you're getting tear gassed. So, oh, see, it's just painful as all hell. If you get it in your mouth, it's even worse. So I got a little in my mouth. You wear contacts. Woo! Better hope you take them out. So those crystals in the OC spray don't damage your eyeballs, don't damage your retina. So, yeah, when you do that, it's cool to train with that stuff, but man, even when you're training, you're trying to do exercises, it is way more challenging than it looks to be implementing tools and making split-second decisions and all that kind of stuff and get your aim regardless of what tool you're using. It takes a hell of a lot of practice. Uh oh, security issue. Who's causing trouble? Who's causing trouble? Oh, uh, actually, I think that big guy is security. I mean, he's got a baton and a radio on him. Oh, it looks like they're all, I think they're all security. You just got some guys in plain clothes is what it is. Probably a good idea to have some people out in plain clothes. Charlie Q here, $5 tip. Thank you, Charlie. Charlie, where are you sending that $5 from? Are you in California? Are you in Ohio? Are you in Korea? Where are you at, Charlie? What the hell? Uh oh, this guy's power walking. What's this going on? Couple get an argument? What's going on here? Where's this guy power walking you so quickly? She's power walking right after him. Might have just missed a tense moment. You guys caught all that too, right? You saw the pace he was walking at his body language. Something was something was a little out of the ordinary. Oh, I wonder what they fought over. Well, who knows? It could have been the two of them got in an argument. He's walking away, or maybe he got in an argument or an altercation with someone else. He's walking away. She's just following. Don't have all the info. Don't have all the facts. So I can just kind of, all I can do is really speculate. Not going to go chase the guy down and, and interview him. Mouse pass. Keep that bar still. That's the hard part. He was looking for the bathroom. Hey, that's a possibility too, right? Maybe he has bad movement issues, he's wearing a diaper, and he has to go change his diaper real quickly, right? You never know, right? She took his ticket. Famous pawn shop to the left. Uh, yes. <laughs> not not like it's right nearby. But you go down that way. 
I mean, you go down that way, you also hit, you know, the Strat, you'll hit the famous hotels, casinos on the Strip. Where the scooter gangs? That's on the Strip. They don't do the scooter rentals down here. Charlie Keir, $5 again, repeat offender. Illinois here will be there in November after the election. Nice. It's been warm. It's been a warm September so far this year, so maybe that means November will be warmer too. We might say it might be warmer until, uh, hell, it might be warm all the way until damn near Christmas. I've seen that before here in Vegas, where it's warm until like a week or two before Christmas. Power walking across. Be in Vegas tomorrow evening. Nice. Did I miss it? Did I miss something? Did somebody tip me and I miss it? Damn it, I did. Rick Veninga, $20 tip from Iowa, Jacob. Thanks for everything you do, buddy. Thank you, Rick. Dang, sorry I missed that, man. I appreciate it, Rick. Charlie, the repeat offender, I appreciate it. All right, I should be caught up now. Todo bien. Todo bien en el mundo del Jacobo. PR on the bench. Uh, I think my PR on the bench was like when I was in college and I was bigger and I trained I don't I don't ever max out anymore, I don't have any purpose to. So I think it was like 375 or something. I mean that was obviously way stronger than the average person, but when I, when I played not as I was strong enough to play at the Division One level, but I was very good at technique. I was good at knowing my plays. Uh, I was pretty flexible. Did what I could to take care of my body after having numerous surgeries. So. Even he's Portuguese. I am. Uh, the Portuguese is just the biggest part of my DNA. So Portuguese, among other things, I recognize all of them. I don't hide any of them. <laughs> Spanish from Grandpa. Uh, grandpa spoke Spanish. My grandpa would mix the Spanish and Portuguese. He would use it when he was on the farm. He said, you know, the guys can understand it whenever you kind of mix the two together. So. Grandparents spoke more Portuguese and Spanish. But I growing up speak more Spanish than Portuguese so hello from Windy City we got a few Chicago folks in here oh Alice no worries <laughs> I, I, I don't get offended at all if people if people guess my ethnicity or my background or they guess wrong I don't get offended about that I might be from California but I'm not that sensitive Still a lot of housing. Well, we've had low inventory on housing pretty much all year. We had low inventory on housing before COVID started. So, 
The housing inventory is still low. And inter as long as interest rates keep staying low, people are going to keep trying to buy houses. So the government's. Um, sorry. We have the lower interest rates. That's what the positives are trying to do. They're trying to keep demand high. They're trying to manipulate supply and demand, which. Federal governments, state governments, local governments do that kind of stuff all the time. They make laws and regulations and they change things that try to influence the supply and demand in the marketplace. Try to influence the economics. Ryan Christopher Slots, holy hell. Says, What's up, Jacob? So proud of what you've done with your channel. Congrats. Ryan Christopher, thank you, man. I know some of you watch Brian, that's for sure. Brian and I met probably five years ago, four or five years ago at a conference, back when we were both really small on our channels. And man, hey, good to hear from you, Brian. Brian has blown up big time. You guys have been known. You guys need your slot fix. Brian's a good guy to go watch. Thousand subs, very soon. Yeah, we'll see. Happens when it happens. Right, about four now. now LOL, yeah. It's somewhere, somewhere around there, man. Oh yeah, you got a thousand people watching. Shoot. Yeah, everybody out here told me about Pomps and getting kicked out of Cosmo. Video quality not good, alright, let me change my spot. Never seen this performer out here. You guys ever seen this lady out here before? Never seen her. I'll take September over Death by Sea to pretty much any day of the week. No offense to the young lady, she's doing a good job, but you know, that is a classic. Is anybody with me on that one? I'm or am I flying solo? Despacito, just no, no. Who doesn't? I'm pretty sure it's un-American not to like Earth, Wind, and Fire. Right, we got quite the selection of music tonight, don't we, going on?
Big Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Doyle H is five dollar tip. Cheers, Jacob. Thanks for the content. Thanks, man. Thank you, Doyle. I thought Nipsey Hussle just reincarnated for a minute. Look at this dude who looks back this way. I can't really see. I got a first glance at that guy, I was like, holy crap, the guy looks like Nipsey. guys. It shattered a lot of your dreams. Transformers really not that big. Casinos still have $5 table games. A mask optional. You're supposed to have your mask on under here. That's the rule. Uh oh, security force filing out. They don't look like they're in a hurry, though, so I guess everything's code four. Got damn penny, penny wises in the way. $1 black sack? I didn't know that. They just reopened, I think, what, a week ago or something? Does anybody know if you're actually supposed to say each letter O-Y-O -O, or if you're just supposed to say oil? Does anybody know? Anybody, anybody have more experience with that company? I kind of just want to go, oh yeah! Like, hey! Oh, this guy. Call oh, and see how they answer the phones. Good idea. It's the oh no. Nah, no live bands. You got performers, but no live bands. Nick Zinda, two dollar tips to stay hydrated. Thank you, Nick. Say no to resort fees. Will always be Hooters to me. Hey, you and probably millions of others. Is this a Japanese company? Why was I thinking from India or something? And I wasn't thinking Japan. I thought it was Asia, but I didn't think Japan. Is it time to go? No, they're just getting ready to go. Just getting up close. truck was a Toyota. There we go. Now we got the light. Vamanos. Hey, I'll give you guys one last shot in the back side of Suka. It is India owned. Hell. Okay, I thought it was. Yeah, there's a lot to keep up with. How's the degree out there right now? Uh, well, it's got to be in the upper 80s, I'm guessing. There's a little breeze, though, which is kind of nice. Well, except for my audio. Atomic Liquors, they should be open. 
you're all mixed up, but I love it. Yeah, I, I am mixed up sometimes. I'm always in one. I think they have a an Oyo in uh, San Antonio too, if I'm not mistaken. I thought I saw one. Where am I going? I'm gonna go into the deadliest part of Las Vegas right now. What do you guys say? I'm just gonna walk all the way to Jerry's Nugget from here. What do you guys think? Careful with stabby hair. <laughs> Jacob. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let him try, Jacob. <laughs> More danger, the better. Actually, though, if you guys do get up the road here, I mean, heck, just what's like a block past Main Street Station going to Bonanza? That's where it was like. That's where there's major, you'll see lots and lots of homeless people there, lots of trash all over the place. Uh, right as you go from Las Vegas into North Las Vegas, that area there, like Woodlawn Cemetery, over like kind of towards Jerry's Nugget, that area, that's where we're, so far we've had the greatest, in terms of like which areas, there's been more homicides in that little area. There's others scattered around east side, west side of town, that kind of thing, but. Uh, video on Lefty's house. I gotta hit up Lacey again. Gotta hit her up and see. We were supposed to do another video the other day, actually, but uh, we had to cancel. Go to the Bunny Ranch. Well, if the strip clubs aren't open, I'm willing to bet the brothels aren't open either. Wait, do I got? Wait, yet? Yeah, right, Nat, Nat. Yeah, I got the green. Mevoy, vamos. Walk into the tracks. I, mean, I could walk under here, but it really just all it does is go to Brownstein Hyatt Farber Shrek. It goes to that building, and Southern Nevada Water Authority has an office up there too. That's what it goes to. Is it sure that I'm moving? Who told you such a thing? All right, so. Shit, did I miss a super chat or a diagnosis? Damn it. I did, I did. Let me make sure I just missed one. He is he is underrated, I gotta admit. Thank you! You're welcome. I know I love strangers. Hello. Photographing? Oh, I'm doing uh, real motion photography, video. Just showing up what it's like around here, that's all. What happens when Vegas stays in Vegas? <laughs> she said what happens when Vegas stays in Vegas. That was what she, what she said. And the group over there, they're arguing about who's the most underrated superhero. So that's what I just walked into. Actually, I'm just standing here, so they walked into me. Rico El Yorza. How do you say inspired by in Spanish? Inspirada. Inspirada, Rico. It's your obsession, isn't it? <laughs> hey, thanks to Dollar Ninety Nine, my man. So let me catch up to everything going on here. All right. Okay, guys. So weather's nice. It's probably eighty something right now. A little breezy. It's nice. It's not bad. Perfect shorts and t-shirt. We run Las Vegas. Good day, everyone, and stay safe. Thank you. We run Las Vegas. Much appreciated. Not anymore. What happens in Vegas? Only in Vegas. Yeah. Please bring back shows. All right. I'll see what I can do on that. Yeah. Lots of comments. You're right, Amara. So, guys, I'm gonna sign off. It's been an hour twenty, creeping towards an hour and a half. Hey, it's pretty good for tonight. 
okay? So I do got to go take care of some other stuff, but it has been fun. You guys have been awesome. I appreciate you guys, whether you did a super chat or PayPal or that I haven't seen yet or a Cash App or Venmo, any of those. Thank you guys. You're awesome. I'll see you guys again soon. Don't worry, okay? I'm here. I'm here for you. So you guys take care. Be safe. Get some sleep. And I will see you guys again later.